of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows which changed my life not only is it the one year was it the one year anniversary of Deathly Hallows it was also the 11th anniversary of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone um, which I have right here this series as you know is like I'm obsessed like it's crazy obsessiveness I am decked out in some of my Harry Potter stuff I have my Harry Potter Alliance t-shirt on I have my Slytherin tie because a friend of mine has borrowed my Gryffindor tie and has not returned it Accio Gryffindor tie it has turned me on to Wizard Rock uh, starting with Harry and the Potters moving to Draco and Malfoy's um, the Remus Lupins, and on from there. Um, it's pretty much all I listen to right now. Um, it truly is. It's really all I listen to. Uh, my friends <laughs> really don't like it. Um, I annoy them to no end with my Harry Potterness. Um, which, you know, that's okay by me. I, I don't really care. One year ago, um, I was waiting to get my book in the mail. Um, actually, um, I was waiting for my friend to get it in the mail because she had bought it for me for my birthday. And um, so I was waiting to read it and thinking about what could happen. What could happen? Was Harry going to die? Was he a horcrux? Um, was one of the other two of the trio going to die? Um, was Snape evil? Was he not? Um, was Dumbledore going to come back? Was, um, there's any number of situations and scenarios running through my mind. And now that I've read it, and now that it's been a year and I've been able to process it, and I've been able to um, analyze um, what's happened, um, and to be able to start taking part in um, the fandom, um, community not only on YouTube but on MySpace and in real life and I, I'm a changed person. If you haven't been paying attention to Harry Potter Alliance or if you don't know what that is go to their website. Um, basically the HPA is a real life Dumbledore's army. Go, go to their website click on their about us and it tells you pretty much everything that they stand for and it's it's really a neat organization um, JK Rowling herself has acknowledged the HPA for the work that they've done they're starting this campaign called 11 days of breaking out of the muggle mindset um, for the next I guess 10 days now um, starting yesterday on the 21st all the way through the 31st which, by the way, is Harry's birthday. 
um, every day you're doing something or they're asking you to do something to break out of the muggle mindset. But today, this is why I'm, I'm making this vlog today, um, they ask you to invite yourself to Hogwarts. I know that sounds weird. Day two of the 11 days of breaking out of the muggle mindset is do for ourselves what Hagrid did for Harry on his 11th birthday and invite ourselves to Hogwarts. It may seem a little silly at first, but imagine, close your eyes if you'd like, a magical place that you can travel to that makes you feel safe and allows you to be yourself. It can be Hogwarts or any place of your own invention, not even the sky is the limit. There are no limits. Now get out a piece of blank paper and create an invitation for yourself to this magical place. Even if it does feel silly, this part, that's part of the process and I think it's a great way to open up this week and recognizing that despite whatever our inner Dursleys have to say, we are magical and wonderful for being exactly who we are. Anyway, this is my, my invitation. Um, so I went and did that and this is what I wrote on the forum on the HP Alliance page. At first I thought this was a fun activity. I'm a pre-K teacher so I love fun and silly projects like this. When I was actually writing myself an acceptance letter, I started to feel a little foolish. I have for so long been told by others and myself that my passions and my dreams and my wishes were silly and unattainable. Even if they are, they are still my dreams and my passions and no one, not even myself, can tell me what I should do or feel or love. It is, I have been afraid to be myself, hopes and dreams and all, because I have been afraid of what others might think. I come from a background where conformity is the status quo. I'm really glad that Andrew and the HPA have started this breaking through the muggle mindset. It is only day two and I'm learning so much. But this is just the tip of the iceberg for me. Harry Potter and his world have taught me so much about my own existence and changed my outlook on life and how I should, how I think the world should be. I've become more tolerant thanks to Dumbledore, more giving thanks to Molly, more determined thanks to Hermione, more able to find joy in life thanks to Fred and George, more full of wonder thanks to Arthur, more devoted thanks to Dobby, more self-assured thanks to Ginny, more of a friend thanks to Ron, and definitely more courageous and enduring thanks to Harry. If I ever meet J.K. Rowling in person, I don't know how I'll ever be able to thank her for all that she's given me. And as I'm writing this, and you can probably tell by the way I'm reading it, I, I just got really emotional because I honestly cannot picture my life right now without all the lessons that I've learned through Harry Potter. My friends don't understand. They don't see, they just think it's something fun to read, um, which it is. It's, it's a wonderful story. Um, but they don't really understand why I love it the way I do. I, I can't even explain it. Um, It's just been such an influence on me. Um, I honestly don't know where I'd be today without it. Go go to the HPA, the Harry Potter Alliance website. Um, read what they're about. Get involved. I'm a soldier for Dumbledore's army. I'm not going to go so far as to say that Harry Potter has made the world a better place. But I think that the readers has made the world a better place because the people in this book were able to do something about the things that were wrong in the world that we 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 should be able to as well i mean it says it takes one person to change the world and you know i i i, I definitely don't doubt that anymore anyway i'm gonna stop talking now and I'm going to go listen to some Wizard Rock. And I'm going to go start rereading Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Fight evil, read books. Um, and uh, all is well. Bye.